had all these grand plans about what I was going to do when I got up here. I was going to bring a group. I was going to sing, but the IV did that. And, <laughs> uh, but I really just wanted to do something special just because this is the most fun and incredible community to work in. So I wanted to do something special, and I said, you know what, just give a speech and be done with it. <laughs> so I wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you to Charlotte St. Martin, to David Henry Wong, to Tom Schumacher, who has promised me to give me all of his suits <laughs> after he wears them now. And, uh, and Heather Hitchens, who actually, the way I found out that I was receiving this, she left me a voicemail, which I, I thought, why would Heather do that to me? Like, why would she play this cruel joke on me? Um, because I wanted to release myself into enjoying it, and uh, it's been a dream of mine. Of course, like all of us in this room know how incredible it is to, uh, the, the dream of getting a Tony. And so, when I got the voicemail, I, I left her another voicemail saying, tell me you're not lying. Like, just tell me this is the truth. Um, and so, it, it, apparently it's true. Um, Nikki Hunter at MTC, who drove Making This Beautiful Show with us, Lynn Meadow and Barry Grove, who took me in. When I first got to New York, um, uh, MTC was one of the first theater companies that really took me and made me feel like I was part of a family, um, and said, we have a show called Choir Boy. Would you like to work on it? And I, I said yes to everything. I still say yes to everything. So call me. Um, so uh, yes, MTC was awesome. Uh, creating Choir Boy was a joy. And I got to work with so many of my friends. This season is so special because I see all of us you know, I know all of us in this room are working so hard, and just to see people who hustle and they're true to their craft and they're doing great work get recognized, and, and to see my friends get that is, is amazing. From Dominique to Jeremy to every, you know, all sorts of folks. Michael McElroy, who I feel like is like a brother. Um, I'll say Lisa McNulty was an early champion of Choir Boy, and I don't want to. I want to make sure that she's mentioned. Um, Dorian Pariat, who was my original piano teacher. Who, uh, who sparked and helped me develop this thing that actually saves my life every day. Um, Joseph Joubert, who was, anytime I'm in a room, there's no reason for anybody to play a piano if Joseph Joubert is in the room. Um, and Joseph has been a, a big brother and a mentor and someone who's taken care of me so incredibly for the last 10 years. And so I know that I would have no theatrical career at all if it wasn't for Joseph. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Marin Maisie, I did, you know, it, it, I was just thinking of, I try to think of all the details of what's, you know, why something's happening and happening in the way that it is. And I played one concert with Marin Maisie. Um, John Doyle, uh, when he first took over CSC, he did a, a Ladies Who Sing Sondheim, a gala. And Marin Maisie sang Losing My Mind and I'm Still Here. And it was just me on piano and Marin, and I just remember rehearsing in her room, just feeling the, the love and the, and the warmth in that space. And so to be included in this category, uh, this, category this, this evening with her is really amazing. Um, my love and my best friend Leland, without, you know, he puts up with a whole lot. I put him through a lot, it's not just actors who are dramatic. Um, and I also brought with me my, my friend Lynn, who told me a hundred years ago that this would happen, and I said, oh, I'm going to disappoint this woman. And, uh, and sure enough, it, it has happened, so thank you, Lynn. Um, and I, and I want to say, everybody who's a parent, who's a good parent, and loves their child, and supports their dream, I can't tell you how important that is. I had two parents. Who my dad asked me once if I wanted to get a teaching degree for something to fall back on, and I was like, you know, I, I want to go for this music thing full on. And he said, fine, go ahead and do it. Um, and he passed two years ago. And my only, I just wish I worked a little faster and a little harder so that he could be here um, to see this. Uh, my mother, though, is here. Um, and yeah. Um, and getting this uh, this award, this entire season has just been an encouragement um, in, in a way in a way that I could have not predicted and could not have needed more. Um, I spent a lot of time working for churches, and uh, you know, when, if you're doing church right, uh, it should be healing and should be helping. Um, it should be reaching out and connecting people. Um, and I don't work. I haven't worked for churches for a little while, but I still endeavor to do that work. And Choir Boy had, uh, had a, I think, afforded me the opportunity to do that. Um, and working in the church, I will say this. I'll, I'll end with this. I love that there's no music to play you off. I love that. <laughs> um, so, Thank you. Yeah, I'm um, I'll say that the music. I have an association with music that is to, to heal and to help. And so, creating music that helps us love each other more, love ourselves more, learn about each other, um, and hold each other close, I think it's a really high calling, and I, I love that, that I'm part of a community that allows me to do this. Um, and lastly, I will say that since getting this call, I've tried to figure out why all this is happening. Um, and it is because 
we all want to create great work and more great work and bring in people to create great work that heals and helps people. So thank you for this tremendous honor. Um, I cannot tell you what it has done for me. It's, it's really changed my life. Um, and I thank this room full of new friends for sharing that with me. Thank you.